Which is the toughest job that pops into your head? Well, building palapas is one of the most ancient construction techniques. And Mexican palaperos usually work under extreme conditions and in very risky situations. Today, I'm working as a palapero, and I'm doing it a la Mexican. In Mexico, we are all about getting down to business. We are not afraid of getting our hands dirty, and we'll definitely find new ways to get the job done. My name is Chuck, and in this Mexico News Network's original series, I'm going across the country looking for extraordinary people that do things the Mexican way, just to show you how Mexican wit can overcome any challenge. And I'm doing it a la Mexican. Hola, Israel. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Pues ya llegué a trabajar con ustedes. Pues muy bien. Te invito a aquí a que nos ayudes a armar la estructura de la palapa. ¿Nos subimos de una vez? Pues sí, hay que subirnos ahí. Vamos a darle. So let's go over there, guys, so we can start building a big, big palapa here in the Mexican Caribbean. Let's go. Palapas are constructions made up with natural materials such as wood and palm leaves. Even though the origin comes from the Philippine culture, it's one of the most typical construction techniques in tropical regions of Mexico because they are perfect to keep cool in hot weather. First, we have to create the base of the palapa with logs and place it on top of the building. So let's go over there. I think the hard work is just starting right now. Okay, and the conditions are pretty extreme because the heat is impressive. Even though today we have huge technological improvements in construction, Mexican palaperos use very traditional techniques. Some of them even prefer to work barefooted to get a better grip when walking on the rooftops. That's definitely working Mexican style. I don't like heights too much. That's a problem, I'm a little bit afraid of it. But we have to do it a la Mexican though. These guys are fearless. They're used to work in these gnarly conditions with no protection at all. I'm bad doing this job, you know? Safety first. I don't want to end up in the hospital today. Most construction workers in the Yucatan Peninsula speak Mayan, even more than Spanish. What? I can't understand a thing that these guys otro, are saying. Otro. Oh my, I don't understand really if they are talking about me, about that I'm pretty bad at the work. For me, understanding it is just as hard as trying to nail a log 15 feet over the ground. I think I have to practice a lot. That's the way you do it! <laughs> Be careful, you guys. The storm is coming right now, so if we don't hurry up, we are not ending the job. We cannot be working when it's, it's raining, it's pretty dangerous here. A well-built palapa can even resist a hurricane, but if it hasn't been finished, the strong winds could blow our work to the ground. Our safety is at risk now, so Israel is telling everybody to find shelter until the storm passes. From the inside of a finished palapa, I can tell how complex they are. These guys definitely have the skills of an engineer. The best part about these jobs is the food. Laborers always eat the Mexican way. One thing that can never be missing in a Mexican construction site at lunchtime are tortillas and beans. Mm. Delicious. These guys really know how to eat. After the lunch break, the weather has improved and we can continue racing against the sunset. Acá qué parte del proceso vamos a ver, Isra? Acá es donde se va a cerrar la madera y pulir. Aquí se corta y se pule toda la madera. Ya luego se lleva ya en la obra. So these guys here are preparing the, the wood for the base of the palapa. If this step is not done correctly, the palapa is not going to work either. So we have to be very careful in this one. The wood used for palapas is zapotillo, a tree that's also known to be used in bubblegum production. Chechen, a poisonous tree, is another type of wood that's used for construction. Wood has to be carefully prepared so it can resist the elements for a long time. Let's start polishing the wood, okay? Wood 
Well-built palapas can last up to 50 years, and even though they are cheap, they often resist extreme weather conditions way better than traditional concrete buildings. Now we have to go up again, let's go! The last part of the process takes us to the rooftop again. I'm feeling completely safe at this point. In case I slip over the edge, a cheap yellow rope tied to a thin iron bar will prevent me from seriously hurting myself. We have to prepare a second wooden base where the zacate will be placed. Zacate is formed by small bunches of dry palm leaves that are attached to the wooden base with a string. Can this be more a la Mexican? So after you put these logs on their place, you have to tie a knot for each single piece of these ones, over and over again until we fill the whole palapa. Kind of complex, right? So finally, we have finished this palapa and we can go home to rest after a long day of hard work. So thank you, Israel, for showing us that you truly work a la Mexican. It's been a pleasure, my friend. So see you next time. If you have the guts to do things a la Mexican, get in touch with us through our social networks and you could be in our next episode.